there team, your mate Barry Watson here. <laughs> Great to see you again. Now when it comes to sustainable backpacking gear, is this just simply just a lot of hype, greenwashing and hot air? Or is this something we should take a more serious and considered approach to? So what I want to do today is to be able to separate fact from fiction and to be able to give you some information so that you can make a really formed decision on the type of gear you buy. So if you're ready, let's rip into it. When it comes to tramping and hiking gear, there are those who simply want the bestest for the cheapest. Hey listen, and I get it. It does stand to reason though, that those who go into nature want to take a lot more naturally sourced products back into nature. Yeah, but does anyone really care? As much as people like to say that they care for the planet, global warming and climate change and all that good stuff, how much does it really influence the type of outdoor clothing and equipment we buy? When I talk to many hikers and trampers, the criteria that ranks the highest in the gear that they buy usually includes functionality, weight, the lighter the better of course. Some people prefer to buy from certain brands and certain retailers they like and trust. Color, and of course price, and somewhere down towards the bottom is sustainably sourced. However, things are very quickly changing. As the world moves in a more sustainable direction, outdoor gear manufacturers from the leading brands to the big box stores are following suit. They're raising the awareness and meeting the growing appetite from customers who want to buy more sustainably sourced clothing and equipment. And the good news is there's a ton of what you might call green gear that's really highly functional and won't cost you the earth. Do you think they got that pun about not costing the earth? Good examples of this are tents and sleeping bags that use a percentage of recycled plastics in them, jackets and sleeping bags filled with responsibly sourced down, packs and t-shirts made from certified and organic fair trade cotton, of course natural wool garments, also biodegradable soaps and cleaning products, minimal packaging and recycled content on the swing tags of new garments, and in the broader terms, factories who pay their staff the living wage, solar powered factories, really good stewardship of forests, and products that have greater traceability and transparency of the materials used during production. You may already know that discarded plastic bottles are recycled and used in certain polyester fabrics. However, to take it a step further, clothing brand Icebreaker have a goal to remove all, that's right, all plastics from their clothing range by 2023. By then, the only plastics I'll have in their garments will be in small parts of their zips. And the great news is that outdoor companies don't have to pioneer this alone. There's a growing network of independent organizations set up to provide support and standards to ensure sustainability remains a strong practice in those business who choose to be part of this global movement. And of course, on a personal level, there's many things that you and I can do to help reduce waste and play our part in making a difference buying the best new gear we can afford so that it lasts longer, taking good care of your gear so that it will last longer, repair it before replacing it as I did recently when I had a pair of boots that needed resoling, which cost me about a third of the price of buying a brand new pair, buying second hand where possible, asking the shop attendant what elements of a product you're looking for are sustainably sourced, and of course saying no to shopping bag when you go out and buy your next gear item. So, an answer to the question, is sustainable hiking gear simply a lot of hype or is it helpful? I would have to genuinely say that after doing a lot of work and effort into putting in this video and research, that there is certainly a real genuine effort by retailers and manufacturers to do what's right. They are very aware of the problems we have as a planet and they are doing their utmost to be able to play their part in making a real positive difference. And I personally think this is a really exciting time for those trampers and hikers like yours truly who love to go out and buy new gear because there is really exciting things coming up on the horizon and actually already here right now. In fact, yesterday I heard of a company that are making clothing in part out of used coffee grounds. I wonder when you sweat whether it smells like a latte. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have, you know what to do, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you on the next action packed Wild Mountain Man video and until then always stay safe, stay strong, see you in the next one everyone, bye.